evidently they didn't like me. If you see right there. <laughs> I pulled here into uh, the yard and I could tell there was that unique sound and you could just hear the hum, the buzz, and you look up there, that is probably a six or seven pound swarm. It came from one of the Apame hives. I literally saw them boiling out and I knew. It's so high though that I can't do anything with it. I don't know. Okay, well, a quick update on that swarm. Um, it flew. Look at this. I went yesterday and picked up two packages from uh, Nature's Image Farm. So, and I'm gonna use that to get this resource hive back going. Now, what a resource hive is, at least for me, it is a 10 frame footprint. And you can see here, there's two separate cavities. It's two four frame colonies. So I'm gonna use these packages that I got to supplement into my apiary. Now, now we can see this package of bees here, okay? You have, in a sense, about three pounds. So you have probably about 10,000 bees in here and they are clustered on top of a feed can. Knock that out. Take the queen, put this back over. So here is my queen in there. You can see her in there. Now I've got that cork out. I want the screen to be facing an area so that they could feed her. Now, all I'm gonna do is take it. And dump those bees in there. And then there we go. All right, when I get into these other colonies, same time that I am in here and going to check them, I'm gonna take this insulated inner off. Okay, so I can see bees here, really all right there. Let me tip this box just to check it. Okay. I don't see any cells there. And I'm looking here at this drone brood that I cracked and look at that, they've eaten almost all of that pollen patty that's there. All right. This colony here is done. They're taking that pollen patty. Nice size colony here. And up top here, there are practice cups. So let me pull a couple frames in the top here just to check. This colony here, you can see more or less how chill it is. All right, there were eggs in there and brood there. Oh, and there's my queen. You, you all can see how the behavior is here. Uh, this is a colony that I'm probably going to end up keeping this queen. This colony is uh, one of my better colonies. Oh, wow. Insane amount of eggs in here. Clear around there. That is awesome. Now, look at that right there. Those are all practice cups. That's why I'm checking my colonies because I don't want uh, all of my colonies to end up swarming. As the spring flow pops, you know, your colonies are just, they are in go mode. There are eggs on here. So my queen has recently been over there.
Okay, now this colony here, because it swarmed, I am going to mark my queen right dial to the swarm cell option. That way I know when I'm looking down through my apiary, there were swarm cells. Yep, right there's my queen. She is really dark. You can see her right there. There we go. Got my queen on there and you can see her thorax. Getting a good red dot on her. Now I'm using red because she is a 2023 queen. And there she goes, right down in. Okay, now this colony here was super small. Uh, I added a frame of brood, so let's see what they've done. Well, there's the queen, and she is laying eggs. I can see eggs all in there, and there's a little brood pattern. That's good. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Excellent. Well, that work is done. Now, I came over today and I wanted to install these packages. Very first thing, well, we had a swarm. It happens. Um, I went through all the other colonies and I did not see any cells. I uh, didn't see anything that looked like they were close to swarming, so I probably have another week on those. I messed up on that colony. I should have seen the signs that it was going to swarm. I just missed it. You know, it happens. Uh, this one here, you can see the activity down front here. Um, they are orienting. Uh, they're getting used to it on both sides. The package that's down here, I'll leave that there. And whatever's in there, they'll just fly out. You know, they'll probably crawl up the front and go into this side here. So, you know, it is what it is there. Um, but the season is moving. We're going to probably in another week or so, you know, going to be adding some colonies, doing some splits. One, two, three, four, five to split. So that'll take me up to 14. And that's about where I want to be at. Um, the ones that are small in the front, I'll try and just manage those and keep them from swarming, uh, you know, and then I have plans here. I have an order for queens, so I'm going to get some, some gentle stock in because if you remember from last year, I had some VSH queens up front that were pretty darn temperamental. But that's it for today. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you want to keep following along my journey uh, this year and, you know, see some beekeeping, follow along, click that subscribe. Uh, I show everything, you know, I don't sugarcoat things. So uh, that is life at Castle Hive. So uh, again, appreciate you guys watching and until the next one.